hi guys welcome back to my channel so guys in this video i am going to show you how you can use component state in adobe xd in this video i will show you one example with the help of that example you guys better understand how to use component state so without a further ado let's get started first just grab the rectangle tool and drag it like that to make a vibrant background so I will just give it a color of lightish pink I think that's perfect and after that I just need one icon I have already installed icon set you can install it from Google just type icon set free download you can get that and you can uh, create your own icon libraries and store it here so I just need a down arrow icon I just drag and drop it here the best part is that these uh, you can store PNG GPG and uh, SVG icons in that icon set so I will just give it black color that's perfect and again just mm, drag click on rectangle and drag like that and make it roundable a little bit and remove the border and after that just place that icon over here and uh, grab the text tool and write here choose option and align both and that's perfect uh, we need some more options so when we click on that arrow icon the other options are also shown so just click on choose option and click on repeat grid and I think four options is perfect just click on rectangle and expand it like that yeah I think that's perfect so after that uh, by creating component you must remember that you select all these options or all these elements that you want to be in component so I just need all these options so I just select all these and uh, first just ungroup that grid and select all these when you select all these after that just click on that component plus button or you can also use control plus key shortcut so i will click here after that just click on plus again and create new state i will just name it open you can name it anything you want so you can also create many states uh, by the in that example i just showed you only one state so you can uh, create many states as well in default state we need to uh, reduce the size of that rectangle and uh, we also uh, hide these uh, options as well so first just uh, click on these options just go to the uh, layer panel and click on that diamond shape and choose these three options and just hide it like that or reduce the opacity to zero after that just grab that rectangle and reduce the height of that rectangle so i think that's perfect so this is our default state we already selected default state our default state is complete now after completing that state just click on that open one and in open state when we click on that arrow the rectangle expands and the other options are shown as well so just click on first that rectangle like that and choose these three option and increase the opacity to 100 percent or i think 50 percent is perfect yeah like that and just click on that 
arrow icon and rotate it like that so our both states are created now the fun part is begin here so just go to the prototype mode and on open one just click on that arrow icon when we click on that arrow icon these are shrinked and uh, uh, in default state first just uh, see the open state click on that and click on that arrow on destination choose the default state after that just click on that uh, layer component uh, state as well and after that just click on default state so on default state again select that arrow and click on that arrow after that on destination click on open one so our uh, component is successfully created and we already prototype it now let's see how the result occur when we click on that play button after that as you can see when I hover here the hand appears it means that there is a link when I click on that arrow you can see other options are expanding when I click on that arrow again you can see so guys that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoy it if you enjoy it make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any update from my channel in the future so see you in the next video take care bye